Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so I am currently one shift away from my two weeks off. Um, I'm very much looking forward to it at this point. It has not helped that I've not been feeling brilliantly well this week. Um, sort of started last weekend, but I just thought, because I'm not used to working both Saturday and Sunday, I almost always work Sunday, but I'm not used to working Saturdays, I don't work very often, and it happened to be a particularly busy weekend as well, which didn't help. And maybe I was just feeling a little bit run down from that. Um, my jaw pain was also very aggravated, and has been like very easily agitated this week. Um, so, for example, um, by the time I reached part way through my shift on Tuesday, it was hurting to eat. So when I had my break, it was very painful to eat. I then spent the rest of that shift pretty much avoiding talking and actually like writing notes for people rather than actually vocalising anything um, as much as possible just to try and mitigate some of the pain. I then had Wednesday off where I did very little talking at all because I live on my own and that would just have been me talking to myself. Um, I did do a little bit of talking because I did record an original version of this video <laughs> um, and then decided afterwards that I didn't like that um, and have, I'm now like re-recording it. Um, obviously that's what I'm doing. Um, but apart from that, I like the, there was almost no talking going on at all um, on Wednesday. And then I hit my shift on Thursday and having uh, woken up with a bit of a coughing fit in the middle of the night, I did check for, like, because I wasn't, I was not feeling great when I woke up in the morning. So I was like, okay, I'll take some COVID tests. They're, they're all negative. All the ones that I've taken have been negative. So I know it's not that. Um, but whatever it was, probably like a cold or flu type thing was obviously inflaming all my glands a little bit, which was putting extra pressure on my jaw and literally within, like, I like I was sort of like going, oh, my, my jaw's not feeling too bad this morning. And I'm actually quite, like, that's fine. I'm not feeling well, but my jaw seems to be, like, have has benefited quite a bit from, like, the day off that I had. Within, like, half an hour of starting work, my jaw was like, So yeah, I was, it's definitely not been a fun week um, in that sort of regard. Um, I, I had yesterday off and I've got day off as well and I'm not feeling too, too bad. Um, I'm not feeling 100% either. I'm not feeling as rough as I was. I think like Thursday was definitely the worst day of it. Um, I, I think because of the coughing fit during the night, it probably like kicked my system a little bit more and I mean by, by the eat like I was feeling pretty rough all day but sort of like by the time I went to bed I wasn't feeling quite as bad um so I think it was you know like how sometimes like the worst couple of days of an illness are like the worst ones um and then you sort of like fine afterwards that's what I tend to find with my illnesses <laughs> anyway like I'll be like okay for like the first couple of days and then I'll be, have like a really, really bad day and then I'll start feeling better again. And I think like Thursday was that really bad day for me. And like, I'm, as though I'm still not 100, 100%, um, I'm definitely a million times better than I was midway through Thursday. Um, so that's, that's something. Um, but it does mean that instead of heading off to my mum's uh, after work tomorrow which I was sort of maybe thinking about doing um I mean I hadn't 100% but decided on that anyway because I was kind of like it, it all depends on what sort of day it, it would be in in work tomorrow um because like Sundays are either going to be like a really nice day or they're going to be a really horrible day <laughs> like I still quite like working Sundays but it's either just because of like the day of the week that it is it's either going to be an easy day or it's going to be a hard day and there's never that kind of in between um the, like there are lots of factors that will sort of like sway it one way or the other but it's never like a nice in between like you might get on a weekday um and even Saturdays can have a nice in between sometimes but like no Sundays are either one or they're the other and um because like there's no guarantee which one you're going to get 
I was kind of like, I, it, it would have to depend on what sort of day that I've had on on the, on the Sunday before I decide whether or not I want to talk to Like, if I'm really tired, like, it's it's an hour-long bus trip to get to my mum's, and I'm not, like, that that's a lot. Like, when you've had, like, a rut, like, really tiring day at work, that's a, that's a lot to sort of have to then sort of do. Um, so I was, I was sort of, like, up in the air as to whether or not I was going to, to do it anyway. And then after sort of feeling very, very rough on Thursday, I was like, you know what, let's just play to the side of caution, that's just going to assume that I'm not going to feel great after my shift on Sunday because I've not been feeling particularly well this week, give myself like that chance to sort of rest that evening and then sort of travel up and um, Monday morning instead, so that's that's not what I'm, that's not what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah... <sighs> It's very much been like one of those, like one of those sorts of weeks, <laughs> um, and it like uh, I was I was like very very mo very much worried on Thursday that it was going to end up being COVID and I would have to take the time off work because I don't like having to take time off work if I can like if I can help it like the only times I've really taken off work in the last few years have been for um, mourning reasons, for, for, for grieving, um, mostly for my pets, um, but also for like my grandparents and stuff like that. So I don't take time off work for illness, even though like my body is really stupid and I would benefit me more often than not to sort of rest rather than push through it. Um, but I don't like taking time off work for, for illness reasons because, like, I'm stubborn, <laughs> I guess. So I was very worried that I was going to have to take time off sick, especially especially because I didn't want to be one of those people who takes the time off sick right before they have time off anyway. Like, I don't want to be one of those people. So I, was, um, so I was very, very, very grateful when I woke up yesterday morning not feeling at all rough and, and made it through most of yesterday sort of not feeling 100% I'm still not feeling 100% today but like there's no reason for me not to work tomorrow I'm not feeling as rough as I was on Thursday when I probably could have argued that I wasn't well enough to work <laughs> like to the point where the number of times I was just like ever so slightly out of it I guess is the best way of describing it and I kept like I, I would see one of my colleagues move and then like another colleague would be right next to them and like my brain would be like, they're the same person. <laughs> um, not, like, not like literally, I could see there were like two people there and I could see they were two very different people, but my brain would confuse which one was which. Um, and I would like, it was very easily getting lost in where I was, what I was supposed to be doing, and, like where I was on, on the task that I was doing and stuff like that. So was not 100% with it on Thursday so if any of the days I needed to take off sick it would have been Thursday um I'm definitely I've been like been fine yesterday and today um so far today I mean it's, it's like it's not even mid been mid midday yet so like anything happened from this point but but um generally speaking I've I've not been anywhere near as bad yesterday or today so I should be fine tomorrow I'm not worrying about uh working tomorrow i think i should be fine I, just, I think it's gonna be okay it's just very much one of those cases where thursday was like the worst day of it and, and i had to work that particular day it would have been better for me if i didn't work that particular day but i was still I, I, in my own mind i wasn't quite sick enough to justify not going into work um unless i tested positive for the covid in which case then i yeah i would have phoned in because we're still supposed to phone in sick for, for covid um we've been told we're still supposed to like because we work in uh in food related industry uh we are still like the company has said that we still need to take the time off if we if we test positive for covid so it was one of those things where it would have been annoying especially because it would have potentially disrupted um my plans for the next week <laughs> Um, although because I've been feeling rough since like started feeling unwell like like the Saturday Sunday time I like I might have might have been okay um but at the same time it was a case of like I really didn't want it to be that and I didn't really didn't want to be like that person who phoned up 
it's like take two shifts left until my holiday and yeah I need them both off sick no I didn't want to be that person like I'm, I'm not that person and like I get annoyed at those people who do that <laughs> I mean I, I mean I get it I get it um but at the same time like I'm dedicated enough to my job where I don't like taking the mic if I can like if I can, like, do something, if I can be there, if I'm, like, well enough to work, if I can walk, I can work, <laughs> that's very much my motto, motto. like, if, if I can walk, if I can see straight, then, then it's fine, although, as I said, Thursday, there, there were points I wasn't quite sure I was seeing straight, <laughs> um, but yeah, it was very much a case that I didn't want to be that person that was like, nah, I, I can't actually do, like, these last two shifts before going, uh, being off for two weeks. I'm like, nah, I need, I need to be in. I'm, like, there are stuff that I need to make sure are sorted and organised before I have my, my two weeks off as well. So, like, I really didn't want to miss the Sunday shift. Like, it's one of those cases where it's like, yeah, I, I, I definitely need to be in on Sunday. I definitely need to work most of my shift on Sunday. But if I can finish a little bit early, then that's it. But at the same time, like, yeah, I know that's probably not going to happen. I'm not expecting that to happen. I'm not going to ask for that to happen. Um, if I was still planning on travelling up to my mum's Sunday evening, I might have, like, been a bit cheeky and asked the shift runner if I could, like, maybe finish half an hour early just to give myself, like, a little bit of leeway for being able to catch buses and stuff like that because especially like on Sunday, Sunday services like they, they were not great I was looking at the bus times for the Sunday and I'm like that, that's going to be annoyingly tight for certain things um, so I wasn't like necessarily looking forward to sort of having to, to work around that anyway and I was sort of if I was still planning on going up Sunday evening like giving them a call, uh, like not giving them a call um, going into work and just like nudging the, sh the shift runner of like right, if, if I can finish like half an hour early not like a full hour just like half an hour early that you know just just so I can navigate buses and stuff but yeah maybe but let's see and then I probably would finish on time anyway because that's what tends to happen <laughs> and, and the shift runner like I, I ask for it so rarely that shift runners are usually like yeah we'll see what we can do and then I work the full shift so it wouldn't have happened regardless <laughs> But now I'm like, I don't have to worry about doing that. I can just go in and go, like, whatever time I finish is what's, whatever time I finish. Um, and then, like, then going uh, going home and just having an evening and just chilling. And then hopefully waking up Monday morning and being okay for travelling. Um, as I said, I'm, I'm not feeling 100% now. I'm not anywhere near as bad as I was feeling on Thursday so I do think I'm over the worst of it and I do think I'll be fine next week but it's that sort of case of I didn't want to sort of take the chance of working on because especially because like the, the kind of environment that I'm working in because it is a kitchen environment the the heat and I'm going to refer to it as being heat I usually when I'm in work refer to it more as being like the atmospheric pressure because there is a little bit of a dissonance there and like but like the terminology and the way I talk about it might sound like a bit weird for some people and um no, actually I will talk about it the way that I, I generally sort of like see it and talk about it so anyone who has joint related problems know that temperature changes can affect like what goes on with your joints and like how much pain you're in and stuff like that well what's affecting it in a lot of ways is the changes in the atmospheric pressure because obviously when it's hotter the pressure is lower than when it's colder I think that's the way around it is it could be the other way around um but I'm not gonna sort of like talk about it in those sort of terms anyway so if you're working in a kitchen where it's like a very hot environment and then you've got the cold air coming in from like people opening the, the door in order to come into your restaurant um the atmospheric pressure is sort of uneven um and i'm not the only one who feels it um a lot of the people that i work with who have chronic pain or who when they're not feeling 100 percent well will notice that they feel worse when they are in work than anywhere else um and i think a lot of it is to do with the the atmospheric pressure that goes on like the, the general atmosphere of of the restaurant and how like the the air is like circulated and stuff like that um i think it very much sort of condenses in and it creates a kind of pressure 
um, on your body is that you don't experience anywhere else. Um, and I, th I think very much being in work when you're not feeling 100% makes you feel worse, or being in, in my workplace 100% makes you feel worse because that there's that kind of odd like pressure system pressing down on your body that you don't experience anywhere else and as I said I noticed it very much because of like my joints um, and various things like that so like my joint pain is always worse when I'm in work it doesn't matter if um, something is playing up anyway it will be uh, like 10 uh, I don't want to go quite as much as 10 times worse but probably about five degrees worse in work than outside of work and I, I will literally notice it like as soon as I finish work as soon as I've made it outside of the building Suddenly, I was like, oh, it's, it's not feeling as bad as it was. <laughs> and I think it, it's very much because the the atmosphere that is created through the, the way the heat is, is moves around the building and through the way the air circulates around the building um, and, and, and stuff like that just creates this kind of pressure system in the actual building itself which puts more pressure on your body than you would be experiencing like outside um or in a different sort of environment um and i do think that has a big effect on like how you feel when you're actually working and i could be talking a load of bollocks uh, <laughs> i apologize it's right i could be talking a load of rubbish um i'm sure there's like somebody out there be like no 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 it doesn't work like that but and like if you speak to anybody who works in, in like specifically like our kitchen environment um not necessarily in like most fast food environments but like our kitchen is not set up particularly well because we were a converted building rather than a purpose build so like there's there's probably something very specific about the way our kitchen has been set up that might well be creating this but I would definitely argue that there is a different level of pressure, probably in most kitchen environments, um, certainly in like a fast food environment where you, you've probably got a lot of hot equipment very, very close together in a very narrow space. Um, certainly that's how our kitchen is. Um, that might make a, that might create its own little atmosphere that can affect things. Um, as I said, I'm sure somebody out there will go, no, that's not possible, that, that, you know, da 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 but stuff like, yeah, you try working in our kitchen and tell me that's not what's happening. <laughs> like, you try working in our kitchen and tell me that doesn't have its own environment. Um, because as I said, you, you can, you can visit, like, you can physically feel it. And you can feel the difference, like when you sort of like travel out, like when you sort of like leave the building, when you sort of like go outside, you can feel the difference. Um, like sometimes even like leaving the floor and going upstairs because like it's cooler upstairs and like the the, the atmospheric pressure upstairs is, is probably different. You can feel that difference. So it's it's one of those things where yeah, maybe I'm talking a load of rubbish and like I don't understand. The, the things that I think I understand are going on with it because like I'm not necessarily the most scientifically minded um but at the same time there is an argument there to be made and I am making the argument that our store has its own pressure system and that can make you feel worse like if you're not feeling well it can make you feel worse if you've got joint issues or pain issues it can make you feel worse and that's not just me saying it that is like my colleagues acknowledging it as well um the number of colleagues that i work with who you know do suffer from various pain things and will say yeah I, I, I feel worse when i'm in work i always feel more pain when i'm in work yeah you can make an argument that they're probably doing things with their bodies that they wouldn't be doing outside of work but at the same time there is enough like there where yeah like different temperatures do affect things so there's no reason why like what I'm saying isn't playing a factor, maybe not as big a factor as I think it is, but it's probably playing factor at the very, very least. So yeah, it, it's one of those things where I know even if I wake up tomorrow morning feeling better than I am right now when I'm like, I know I'm not feeling 100%, but I'm not feeling awful, um, probably going to work is going to make me feel really, really, really bad whilst I'm in work. And then once I sort of leave work and go home, I'll probably start feeling better again. Um, 
but it'd be one of those things where because I'd have spent like the entire day feeling a bit rough not wanting to travel like it, yeah it was, it's one of those things where it's kind of like I know there's every chance that I'll probably be feeling fine Sunday evening and could have traveled but on the off chance that I'm not going to feel great because of whatever reason I would rather just write it off and like start the week fresh on on Monday morning <laughs> when my week off actually starts um yeah okay so <laughs> this one got very sidetracked um so I hope you all found this one sort of interesting yeah I know I did probably talk about like some weird stuff there in the middle and like maybe what I said made sense maybe what I said doesn't make sense um as I said, I'm sure somebody out there who is more scientifically minded will be all like, no, 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 that's not how it works. And I'll be like, yeah, you come into our kitchen and tell me that's not how it works. <laughs> you, you'll see. You'll see. There, There is a difference there. There is definitely something going on. Um, I mean, it may not be going on for the reasons that I think it might be going on for. It may just be purely down to the heat um, rather than anything else. But there is definitely, there, there is a feel, there is a definite, like, you, you go into that kitchen and you, you feel like it's not the same as, as anywhere else. And, like, as I said, it might, might just be a heat thing, but, like, I, I think there's an effect on, like, the atmospheric pressures. Just, yeah, reasons. <laughs> Alright, okay, so, um, I'm going to wrap this up now. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope you're looking forward to seeing whatever nonsense I am planning to talk about next time, and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, consider checking out some of my others, and if you like what you see, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching. See ya.